Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing The Game, which is a card game about trying to complete these piles of numbers. We have two piles going up, two piles going down. We have a deck with the cards in between these numbers, 2 to 99. In a two-player game, we have seven cards each. Usually it's uh, six at higher player counts and you get uh, some more if you're playing solo as well. But uh, the aim of the game is to play all of the cards. Your score at the end is minus however many cards you couldn't play. So we have hands of seven cards each that need to be secret from each other. This is my hand. And on my turn, I need to play at least two cards from my hand. I can play as many as I want, but I have to play two. And that's where your rough position comes in. So first of all, we decide who goes first. And your decision is based on how good your cards are, really. How close your cards are to the starting cards. Because if you've started off with a handful of cards in the 50s, you really don't want to go first. Although you're probably going to mess it up when it's your turn anyway. I'm joined today by Rach. Hello. I don't, re I don't particularly want to go first. It wouldn't be terrible, but how are you feeling about going first? It would be a very bad idea. Okay, well, you are going second then. So from my cards then, I think the least damage that I could do... Well, I could start off a going up pile like this. So I've only gone up five there, so that's not too bad at all. And then it's going to have to be a going down one, I think. Now, strategy-wise, really, you're okay to kind of mess up one pile of each. It's when, like, your last two piles cross over, that's when you're really in trouble. But, yeah, this is only the first turn. So I'm, I'm going to choose to not play any of that. I am kind of close to one of those. But, yeah, I think I'm going to play it safe for now. I'll get another chance later. So I've drawn two cards to go into my hand now. And you aren't allowed to communicate, of course, what numbers of cards that you've got. You can... The, the most you can really say is, I would like it if you could save this pile for me and you can be as enthusiastic about that as you'd like you're not allowed to talk about numbers themselves and it's up to the other player whether they want to or even can leave that pile for you the other thing we'll get to later on is the 10 trick in the game you are allowed to play a card that is going the opposite direction that it's supposed to be going so example here would be if i had the 97 i could play the 97 on here and even though it's meant to be going down I'm allowed because it's exactly 10 up and that's how you can kind of recover your bad position if bad things happen and they inevitably will. So Rach, you want to show everyone your hand and talk about what you're doing? So this is my hand. Unfortunately, that one's perhaps a bit too low for that. So I'm going to have to ruin a pile either way. So I may as well ruin one pile instead of two. So I think I'm going to go for this one. And just bring it up a lot. <coughs> so, I'm going to go with this to start with, the 50. And then bring it back down with the 10 trick. And I am just going to put this there. Because it's the next one up. So I may as well. And that's me. Okay, so where have we ended up? 41. Wow. That's actually not too bad because I have got the 31 right here. So that recovers us a little bit. And then I've got to play two cards. So it wouldn't be awful if I played there. And now it's tempting to keep going because I'm not that far off. But then if Rach has got like the next number down, then... Yeah, it wouldn't be a great thing to keep going. I think I'll, I'll stop there, yeah. I'll draw two more. So I've got these as well. They go into my hand. And Rach, it's your turn to play two. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is obviously play this one because it would be silly not to. And I'm going to just place the 92 on there. It's definitely the best move that's me done okay so i'm not i'm not in a terrible position i'm not in a great position so we could make this one go up by not too many we played these two so i'm trying to be it's a little bit weird filming like this i'm trying to be vague so i'm not just reading my numbers out of range but at the same time this isn't how you would uh, uh talk about it too much so yeah i could i could go there all of this would be going on in your head 
So I could either end up there or there. So this isn't as bad, is it? Oh, they're, they're actually exactly the same. I'm doing exactly the same to one of the piles. So I think let's let's do it to this one. Let's come down here. It's, it, as always, tempting to do both because we're so close and it's so easy for the pile to just whiz past the numbers that you've got. So there we go. I've got these now, which unfortunately that's going the wrong direction. But Rach, what are you going to do? So I'm going to play my 90 and my 89. Quite nice. Hmm, interesting. Done. Okay, back to me then. So I've still got, you know, I've got this in an emergency for this pile. But then I've got this nice run here. It wouldn't be too terrible to do the whole thing. But depending on, so I think I'll just, I'll just get them so Rach can see what I'm doing. And then I've got to play two. So we've got to, we've got to start out like that. Try having them all the same way around. But then now, are, are you are you bothered about that, Rach? Now is the time for people to kind of shout out to to stop. So like mm. I'm tempted to play more cards. I'm not attached. Okay. So I'll keep going a little bit. I know that 32 isn't out there because it was the card that was face up before we started. Still good. There we go then. So I managed to play four this time, which is quite good because the whole aim is to get through this deck. Once we've gotten through the deck and we've just got hands of cards, we only have to play one at a time from then. So that's what I have picked up. So that was quite handy, really, because I had the 48, which is nice and close now to 44, so I don't feel so bad about playing there. And I'm going to have to... I'm going to play my 14 there, I think. Yeah. So there are my two new cards. Okay, well, that's quite bad for me. But it'll come back around. Maybe we'll even get that pile low again. So it's going to have to be these two that I said, not great, but they'll do. We'll go for playing these two then. I haven't got any kind of tricks to work out on these. That's the least damage I can do to a pile. So that's just two this time and draw back up with these. Not great. Okay, that was rather unfortunate with that one there. But we can carry that pile on. With a 60. And the 56. Okay, so I'm increasingly getting to a bad stage with this hand. So I think, you know, we're going to have to... I haven't got really much choice because, yeah, that's my choice. So I can put these two here, but I'd like to keep one pile good. So let's continue to make one pile bad. And unfortunately, it's it's quite a lot worse than it started with. And you're not allowed to look through, you know, discards or anything to see what you've played and what's left in there. But yeah, this is the thing. You've got to play two cards and you're going to end up ruining things, unfortunately. And unfortunately for us, once again, that pile's been taken a bit too low for me. So now, as you can see, I am going to have to make a pile worse. So I'm going to have to go 61 there. And I have to play two, so I'll take it up to 64. And that's me done for now. Okay, so that's worked out quite well for 54. But for... Oh, ooh, actually, no, it's not bad because we can go 21, not great. 11, fantastic. So we have ended my turn improving two piles, which is quite good. Okay, so now I can go... 
oh, please don't play here if you can help it. I hope you didn't just do a sneaky peek at my cards. Uh, luckily for us, we weren't going to go there. So I'm going to pop 20 on there. And 24. I'll leave it at that. Okay, that's not great. For me, but... Yeah, I can. I know there's a lot of 90s still out there. So I can make that one better. We're all the way up to 99, which is the the best we can be, really. But I'm going to have to bring that right way down because the other cards will be making things so much worse. So I'm going to play those. And that's drawing three up. Unfortunately, I've just gone past that one. Oh, please don't go there if you can help it. I think you might be out of luck. So, let's have a look. I can go somewhere else and it'll still be just as bad because unfortunately that, again, has been taken a bit too low. So, what I'm going to have to do is go 66 on there. And 72. Oh, that would be nice. Next turn, fingers crossed. Okay then, so I can just follow on 25 and 29. And yeah, nothing else even approaching close to anything. So I definitely don't want to play any more cards. And that's two more cards back. So I am just going to do these two. So I'm going to take it up to 88. Oh no! But don't you worry, because I've got a 78 to bring it back down. Save the day. Yeah, so we can't... Unless I want this one <laughs> to have these on it, I can't really play those ones. Which means, and it's not terrible to do it to one, but it's always it's always horrible to have a massive jump. I'm going to have to have one over here, though. So I'm going to have to turn this one all the way down to 13 and then 8. Rach, has anything excited you about the number 8? No. So I might as well go there. Since I'm right next to it, and so I can draw three more, still loads of cards left. And there we go. You can see what I've drawn. <laughs> it's not looking good. Oh, all right then. So I'm going to have to play there, really. Because we haven't seen many 80 cards, I don't think. So we don't want to jump up too high on there. So I know what we can do. We can play three cards. We can go... 45, 47, messing up this pile, and turn back down to 37. Okay. Right, so actually, my hand is better than I thought because I can play the 84 there. And then the 94, so that's one better. Uh, yeah, let's not worry about the rest of the hand yet. That's for another turn. And that's what I've drawn. Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do is go on this pile again and go with 46, 49... Tom, is that pile shouting out to you? Nope. So I am just going to take a little bit of a risk and play that as well. In the hopes of drawing something amazing for next turn. Hmm, okay. We've just got to cross your fingers and hope that 
things improve by your next turn, but they haven't. Well, this one's not too bad, is it? That's just 58 there, so that's only going up by 5. But the rest of them, I can't do those there. I would do them on there, and I don't want to. I can't play these ones, really. I don't want to tank that one all the way down to, like, the 20s. So, yeah, I wanted to hold that off because I know that there's some single-digit numbers out there. But, yeah, I've got to play two. And, oh, dear, yeah, I <laughs> just cut myself off. Right, so I can put this little card on there and bring it back down 10. Doesn't really help me out that much, but that's one card played. And I think I'm going to have to ruin it straight away. It's about the same between those, so I'll do the same amount of damage to both. So I'm going to just keep with this one, why not? And pop that there. Oh, stop. I'm stopped. I am stopping, anywho. Okay, so right... Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, not no. So I, I'm right next to that with 82, which is what I was excited about. But actually, I've got 71. So even better, yeah, I don't have to ruin things this turn, and I can, so I'll go there, and then I've only gone up one, but I've managed to play three cards. So that's quite a good turn, and we've got good things in store, but we're far away from these numbers. So yeah, we'll just have to hope something good happens on Rachel's turn. Something good is about to happen. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of things now. So I'm going to put 86 on there, but bring it back up with a 96. And then I spotted on my way over for my turn that I had this little card here, which takes 2 up to 12. So actually, improved that one. Stop. I am stopping, don't you worry. So now I pick up three. Well, that's great. For some reason, I thought the 12 went out at the start of the game. So I'd been dismissing this, but actually I've got 22. And then from there, yeah, these wouldn't be great, would they? But we've got a lot we can play from the... Oh, brilliant. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just keep going. 19, 16, um, 26. So that's four. So I think, yeah, quite a good turn. And hopefully these are, you know, oh, yeah, we've got to go for, oh, no. I'm sure I had this card before, but, ugh. yeah, I didn't play it. I should have. Yeah, please don't go there if you can go somewhere else. It's not the end of the world, though. I'll, it's it's coming back around in other piles. I was getting all excited, but then Tom improved this pile even more. Okay, so... I'm going to put 23 there and then I am going to have to just bring it down a little I think for the least damage to 15 pick up two cards Unfortunate. Yeah, it's a shame because I did have that, but I've still got stuff to play here. So definitely 59, So we're only going up by one. And then, yeah, unfortunately, ooh. Yeah, I'm going to take it up to 62. Are you very close to that range? Not insanely close. Okay, then. So I'm going to take it up to 73. 75, 65, so that's five cards, two, three, four, five, what have we ended up with here, hmm, not, hmm, not very useful, but not terrible either, hopefully they'll work out. Right, so 67, 
is going to go there. These piles are getting very close to each other now. Mm. 74. Whoops. Oh, God. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Okay, so for me, let's see, 85, that's fine. We can do that. It wouldn't have been terrible if it had, had to go there, but yeah, that's not too bad to go there. But for my second card, we are limited because any of these have to go on that pile. Although it is pristine 96, I don't want to have to make that leap. Whereas if we've got other cards, like if Rachel's has got other cards like this and they're still in the deck, they can at least go in this pile as it comes back down. So... My second one will go there. I think, Rach, are you bothered about that? You'd only really be bothered if you had the 14, really. No. Which might have been played. I'm all right. Don't remember. So, yeah. I know that there's nothing in between the four and three. So I'll play that. So I've played three cards. And, yeah, not too many cards left in the deck. But then we have got 14 cards between us as well. So there's still a fair way to go. And, yeah, these... Well, this, this pile is still at 96, but yeah, they're coming close to crossing over, which is when the, when your luck starts running out. Right. Things are not looking good for me. So, I think I'm going to have to bring up one of these piles. So, I'll take up the highest one. With a 97 and a 98. I'm not sure whether 88's been played or not, I can't remember, but that's probably the best thing I can do. Okay, I think this is where we're going to start losing, because I can do 79, that's not too bad. In fact, I could play it here, because you can see that my choice is uh, now I can't play to either of these. I can't play to that one. I have to play to this one. And even only playing one card is going to be fairly bad. I think I don't, I think it's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. So there's two more. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So ideally, yeah, if, if you can leave that one, Rach, it would be amazing. But, yeah, we're running out of options to save piles because it's yeah, the two's gone. So unless someone's got the 13, if the 13's still in it, that pile isn't dead. If the 88 is still in it, then that isn't dead. But other than that, they are pretty far gone because the 2 and the 99, I'm pretty sure, have gone. So it limits your options right down to just two of them. So, yeah, being able to play that would be great, but we'll see what Rach has got to play. Yeah, it's not looking good. So, obviously, I'll play this one immediately. Unfortunately, I've still got to play another one. Tom asked for that pile to be left alone. So I guess it's kind of equal sort of ruinage. I will go there. Is that two? Yeah. Stop there then. I will stop there. And I'll get to, so now that there's no cars left we in the middle, we only have to play one if we so choose. I feel like I want to play more than one. So I definitely want to play that. There we go. If you're playing something better, absolutely do that. For the rest, let's see, these, these are going to have to wait until the end. But it depends how many of this kind of range of card we've got between us. So that at the moment is out, unless we can get a nice... 10 trick going which hopefully we can do so 33 right next to it Rach are you particularly excited about that pile again not insanely close uh only because so the thing is as well you don't necessarily want to play too many cards because if you can keep playing things you want to 
keep being able to play one so that it can keep being the neck the other people's turns. But I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it and play thirty and hope that Rage didn't have thirty one or thirty two. And I'll stop there. Nothing to draw, and you only have to play one card. Okay, that worked out quite nicely. And I am gonna just pop the twenty eight there. And I only have to play one, and I'm going to only play one. Well, that's actually pretty perfect, because I've got 38. So the card is, isn't is uh, out of it like I thought it might have been. And since Rach played 28, then I know I'm safe to play 27. It's just then. Yeah, I think it's I think it's too big a gap to risk playing on. I am going to say that I'm not incredibly close to that. <laughs> Neither am I, though. <laughs> I'm fine with you going there. Yeah, but you don't know how low my card is. Mm, I guess it's not... Rachel says she isn't near. Okay, let's, let's go. Okay. So, let's see. I can pop that there. Okay, I think you need to play everything that you can play. I can pop that there. And then... If I'm going to have to play everything that I, that I have to play, that I can play, they will go there. Now, unfortunately, these can't go anywhere. But this can. So I'm going to pop that there. And leave it at that. Yeah, I just realised there that since we know that 2, 3, 4 have gone, uh, I've got the lowest card in the game at the moment. So yeah, Rach had to play everything that she could. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to mean that this isn't going to help her at all. So I don't think... Can you play anything else, Rach? No. Nope. So that's that's not a bad score, though. Minus 2. So we didn't quite win the game, but we got very, very close, I think. Yeah. So that is it. That is the game. This, by the way, I should have mentioned at the start, this is the Pandasaurus version of the game, that if you are in the US of States, this is available at Target, which is where we got it from when we were there. Yes. But otherwise, the version is kind of... If you, I've got a video as well for the game Face to Face, which is a two-player only version where you can play to other people's piles. And that's a really, really good version of it as well. But the original is still the best way of playing it, I think. But the, the artwork that you get will look more like the artwork I've got of face to face here. It's this strange kind of uh, stark thing where the, the card numbers are all skulls and things. Not sure why it's like that, but the, the game is it's it's essentially the same. If, if you've got like the mind or anything that uses uh, a numbered, you know, hundred card deck, then you could use that to play the game if you can't get a hold of it as long as you mark down which the pile's going up and down. But this is uh, this is um, art by Quan Chai Moria as well, who's done some amazing game art, and yeah, it looks fantastic. Much more attractive. Yes, it looks amazing. So anyway, that is the game. If you'd like to know what I think about it, then the link will be on the screen very, very shortly, and you can try. Like over a, There's like one 350 videos on this channel now. Hopefully one of those will interest you. But I'm going to go now. Bye, everyone. See you.